looking to live a longer, healthier life? Today, we're diving into the most science-backed supplement stack aimed at increasing longevity, specifically for adults ages 25 to 45. But before we get into the details, here's something important. Always consult your healthcare provider before starting any new supplements or making changes to your wellness routine. This is especially crucial if you have pre-existing conditions or take medications, because individual needs and interactions can vary widely. Let's get started. First up is omega-3 fatty acids from fish oil, especially EPA and DHA. These essential fats fight chronic inflammation, support brain health, and protect your heart. Research shows that higher omega-3 levels are associated with up to five extra years of life. They may also help preserve telomeres, which are protective caps on our chromosomes that shorten with age. For dosage, aim for about 500 to 1,000 milligrams of combined EPA and DHA per day. You can get this through fatty fish or high-quality purified fish oil supplements. Omega-3s are generally safe, but high doses can thin your blood. If you're taking anticoagulants or have a bleeding disorder, talk to your doctor. Choose a brand that's tested for mercury and oxidation. A common misconception is that flax or chia seeds are just as good. While they do contain ALA, the body converts that poorly into EPA and DHA. Marine sources are far more effective. Next, we have magnesium. This mineral is involved in over 300 essential reactions in the body. It helps regulate blood pressure, improve bone density, boost sleep, and enhance insulin sensitivity. Low magnesium has been linked to increased risk of all-cause mortality. Most adults should aim for 310 to 420 milligrams per day. Magnesium glycinate or citrate are great options due to their high absorption. Too much magnesium can cause diarrhea, especially with cheaper forms like magnesium oxide. If you have kidney disease, avoid supplementation unless approved by your healthcare provider. Many people think magnesium is only useful for sleep or muscle cramps, but in reality, it plays a central role in maintaining metabolic and cardiovascular health. Now let's talk about creatine monohydrate. You've probably heard about it in the context of building muscle, but it also supports brain function, energy metabolism, and may even reduce cognitive decline as you age. The standard dose is three to five grams per day. There's no need for loading phases if your goal is longevity. Just take it consistently with water and make sure to stay hydrated. Creatine is one of the most well-researched and safe supplements available. It's not a steroid and does not harm kidney function in healthy people. However, if you have kidney disease, talk to your doctor before using it. Some people still believe creatine is only for bodybuilders, but studies show that older adults benefit just as much, especially in terms of muscle preservation and mental clarity. Let's move to vitamin C, which is far more than just an immune booster. It protects your cells from oxidative damage, helps your body produce collagen, and supports skin, joint, and blood vessel health. Higher intake of vitamin C has even been linked to lower risk of early death. For most adults, taking 250 to 500 milligrams per day is a solid range. This can be through food or a supplement. Doses up to 2,000 milligrams per day are considered safe. Too much vitamin C can cause stomach upset or diarrhea, especially at high doses. And if you're prone to kidney stones, speak with a doctor before supplementing heavily. Some people believe they're covered just by eating fruit, but many don't consume enough produce daily. A supplement helps ensure consistent intake. Up next is NMN or nicotinamide mononucleotide. It's a precursor to NAD+, a molecule that declines with age but is essential for energy production, DNA repair, and cell survival. A dose of 250 to 500 milligrams per day, usually in the morning, is common in human studies. NMN has shown promise in improving endurance, insulin sensitivity, and reducing signs of biological aging. While short-term studies show NMN is well-tolerated, anyone with cancer or a chronic illness should speak with a healthcare provider before using it. Pregnant and breastfeeding women should avoid it due to a lack of safety data. Some think NMN is a miracle anti-aging pill. It's not. It works best as part of a larger lifestyle strategy, including exercise, sleep, and nutrition. Another NAD plus boosting option is NR or nicotinamide riboside. NR increases NAD plus levels and has been shown to lower blood pressure and inflammation in middle-aged adults. Start with 250 to 500 milligrams per day. NR is safe up to 1,000 milligrams daily in trials, but most people don't need that much. Like NMN, NR should be avoided if you're dealing with active cancer or are on hormone-sensitive medications. Talk with your doctor if you have health concerns. 
People often debate whether NMN or NR is better. In reality, both are effective. Choose what works best for your goals and budget. Let's talk about vitamin D3. It regulates hundreds of genes and is essential for immune health, brain function, muscle strength, and even cancer prevention. A daily dose of 1,000 to 2,000 IU is widely recommended. Take it with a meal that includes fat and ideally with vitamin K2 to support calcium regulation. Vitamin D is very safe, but excess intake, especially above 4,000 IU daily, can cause calcium buildup and kidney issues. Get your blood levels checked to tailor your dose. One myth is that casual sun exposure is enough. In most modern lifestyles, that's just not true. Now onto curcumin, the active compound in turmeric. Curcumin has strong anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects. It improves brain function, reduces joint pain, and supports blood vessel health. The recommended dose is 500 to 1000 milligrams per day. Make sure your supplement includes black pepper extract or another absorption enhancer, since curcumin is poorly absorbed on its own. It's generally safe, but avoid high doses if you take blood thinners or have gallbladder issues. A common mistake is thinking you can get enough from using turmeric in cooking. You'd need massive amounts of spice to reach therapeutic levels. Fisetin is a lesser known but promising supplement. It acts as a senolytic, meaning it helps clear out aged cells that contribute to inflammation and disease. A common protocol is taking 100 to 500 milligrams daily for two to five days a month. This isn't a supplement you take daily, but rather in short bursts. It's still experimental in humans, but looks safe at these doses. If you take immunosuppressants or have chronic conditions, talk to your doctor first. Some think eating strawberries gives you enough feast tin. You'd have to eat pounds of them. Supplements are the only practical way to get the studied doses. Quercetin is another flavonoid with broad longevity benefits. It reduces inflammation, lowers blood pressure, and increases antioxidant capacity in your cells. The standard dose is 500 to 1000 mg per day. It absorbs better when taken with vitamin C or a meal. It may interact with medications processed by the liver and has mild estrogenic effects, so speak to your doctor if you have any hormone-sensitive conditions. Although it's often marketed for allergies, quercetin plays a much bigger role in long-term vascular and immune health. CoQ10 is a vital compound for mitochondrial energy production. It's especially helpful if you're taking statins or want to support your heart and brain as you age. Most people benefit from 100 to 200 milligrams per day. Take it with a fatty meal to improve absorption. If you're over 40, consider the ubiquinol form, which is easier to absorb. It's very safe, but may slightly interfere with blood thinners like warfarin. If you take such medications, be sure to monitor your levels with your doctor. Many assume CoQ10 is only for seniors or heart patients, but starting in your 30s or 40s can help preserve mitochondrial health before problems arise. Let's talk taurine. Despite its reputation from energy drinks, taurine actually has calming anti-aging effects. It supports metabolism, brain health, and immune function. A typical dose is 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams per day. You can take it with or without food. Taurine is generally safe, but if you have epilepsy or bipolar disorder, use caution and speak to a healthcare provider. It's a myth that taurine is a stimulant. It's actually neuroprotective and may help regulate mood and cellular stress. Resveratrol is a compound found in red wine and grapes. It activates longevity genes, supports cardiovascular health, and may protect against cognitive decline. Most supplements provide 250 to 500 milligrams per day. Take it with food or fat for better absorption. High doses may cause GI upset and interact with estrogen-sensitive conditions or blood thinners. Some believe drinking red wine provides the same effect, but you'd need hundreds of glasses. Stick with a supplement for the right dose. Green tea extract, or EGCG, is one of the most studied antioxidants. It improves cardiovascular health, supports metabolism, and may reduce your risk of age-related diseases. The recommended dose is 300 to 500 milligrams of EGCG per day either through supplements or three to four cups of brewed green tea. Avoid taking it on an empty stomach and be cautious with high doses, as rare cases of liver toxicity have been reported. One common misconception is that more is always better. In this case, moderation truly is the key. Finally, let's cover Glynac, a combination of glycine and N-acetylcysteine. This duo boosts glutathione, your body's master antioxidant, and has shown remarkable benefits in mitochondrial function and biological aging. Studies use 1.5 grams of glycine and 1.5 grams of NAC, twice daily. You can start lower and gradually increase as tolerated. 
It's very safe but may cause nausea or digestive discomfort in some people. Those with kidney issues or on certain medications should talk to their doctor first. Some assume NAC alone is enough, but research shows that combining it with glycine is far more effective in boosting glutathione levels. That's your science-backed longevity supplement stack, designed to support your health span, not just your lifespan. Remember, supplements are powerful, but they work best alongside a healthy diet, regular movement, good sleep, and stress management. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for weekly tips on health, fitness, and longevity. Share it with someone who wants to live better, longer. Thanks for watching, and take care of your future self.